people, they really love you, you know. He tried to get up in there just to make my breakfast. Oh. I'm very spoiled. Thank you also for loving my child, you know. Thank you for accept accepting him as your own. He's the dad for you, in his eyes for you, you know. So, like, thank you for loving us. So. Ngayong linggo, magsasalita si Aimee sa kanyang saluubin tungkol sa mga pumupuna sa mga kababaihang Pilipina at sinasabing ginagamit lamang daw ang mga Amerikano para sa green card. Ano yung masasabi mo naman sa mga taong nagsasabi na, ah, pumunta lang yan dito sa Amerika tapos iniwanan yung lalaki? Well, the only thing I can tell with the people, but not all Filipina just to come over here to get a better life, you know, when they get lucky for their, for their spouses, they're really lucky not some are not so I said like don't judge all Filipina to what they are because mm -hmm. every person are different characters and it's like me I didn't get lucky for my first one so yung iba kasi may mga sinasabi dahil nga minsan matanda na yung lalaki yung babae bata pa ano yung masasabi mo sa kanila it doesn't matter as long as you two are love each other and have respect, that's all matters. Don't matter what people say outside your your home. Matter is what's inside in the house. Cause they're not the one who put food on your on your table. The matter is you guys they understand each other, have respect, love each other. That's all. What people says, don't care. I have a long hair. Find your own old. <laughs> sa ano naman sa issue ng romance. Mas okay ba? Oh, mas yung... masarap. <laughs> masarap silang magmahal. Because based on my experience, older people, they really love you, you know. They're really serious about you. you, know? you know, they show you everything of you. But for me, I'm not the show person. But he show everything, even in the public. So, yes. <laughs> and I'm the, like, sorry, sorry person to kiss me. For Belton, who will thank you for loving me. Even me being a crazy woman, you've been like so very patiently for my being bitchiness. <laughs> <laughs> thank you also for loving my child, you know, thank you for accept accepting him as your own no matter what, you know, like you've been there for him and he's like, he's, you know, he look at for you as his real dad no matter there's no blood drawing in his, you know, on his vein, but he's the dad for you, in his eyes for you, you know, so... Like, thank you for loving us. So. You're crying now. <laughs> You're crying. What makes yeah, you cry? cry why, why are you crying? What well, makes you cry? I'm so, I'm like, I'm not, I mean, like, as he always said, my my heart is in my bath. Because <laughs> I don't, you know, I'm a, <laughs> I'm a <laughs> tough <laughs> one. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a tough one, but, you know, being, you know, if you, I mean, like, being a second chance that you found another love and, there's a person giving you love and sometimes you hardly give them back because mm. you know you're trying to like protect yourself but here he is you know still giving you what he can give it for you even you know even it's not even we're not wealthy wealthy but mm -hmm. he tries best for this family so it's like it's very very you know it's like i'm like i can't ask more you know sometimes i say hey when you're gonna be rich but mm. hey it's just a part of my money but for the love and there and take good care, he's always there. Even though he's sick, he's always take good care. Especially when I get up early in the morning, cause I work like at five o'clock. He tried to get up in there just to make my breakfast. Aww. I'm very spoiled. If people not as you know, I'm very spoiled woman. And I take advantage of that one. <laughs> <laughs> I take for granted sometimes. Yes, I do, but I guess I learned sometimes cause he snacked my head. So, so you know, man like, if he loves you, love him, them, love, love him them back. I will try! <laughs> <laughs> Abangan sa susunod na linggo, ibabahagi ni Aimee ang kanyang emotional na paayag sa mga pagbalik tanaw sa naging karanasan niya sa kanyang paglalakbay sa buhay Amerika. It was way different your life than now. So like, now you have someone to share with, you know, someone to punch. <laughs> <laughs> If I go quit, what's gonna happen? What's gonna be happening in the life of my son? I'm the only one's gonna go protected. I have to keep going and going. I've been more stronger. I'm like strong woman. I know we hate the divorce name, but 
if that's the only way, get it out and move on and try to keep fighting. There's always a second chances, third chances, four chances. Don't meet a, not, uh, meet a foreigner just to come over here too. Make sure also there's a love, at least a little bit, if you want to use that person. Not just like come over here and then a couple years, boom, bye, I got another one. You know, just don't be like that because it's going to be look bad in our, you know, as a Filipina, it's going to look bad on us. Para sa mga karagdagang kwento, mag-check out sa LA Teen.TV. Ito po si Effie Barker, ang inyong kaugnayan.